Hi friends, welcome back to your similar team. Today's topic is uh, amitriptyline. Uh, this is a tricyclic anti antidepressant drug uh, like um, amipramine and uh, clomipramine. Okay, so before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and uh, tell your friends to subscribe to our channel through Facebook, email, or Twitter account. Okay, this is an important drug for a clinical practice also. So just spend some time with me and definitely I'm sure you will go out with some information and uh, you, will do, you will do best in your coming examination. Wish you all the best, do very well, okay? Uh, it's a tricyclic antidepressant drug, TCA. It is a most widely used TCA and has at least equal efficacy against depression as the newer class of SSRIs. The, amit, uh, the amitriptyline is used for a number of medical conditions, including depression disorders, anxiety disorders, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, migraine prophylaxis, eating disorder, bipolar disorder, post herpetic neuralgia, and insomnia. Okay, so this is nothing but it just it acts by non-specific blockade of a uh, um, 5ST and NE reuptake. Okay, that's very important. Norepinephrine and uh, serotonin. Okay, free uptake. Uh, amitriptyline is used in ankylosing spondylitis for pain relief. It is also used as a preventive for uh, patients with uh, a reoccurring biliary dyskinesia, sphincter of odi dysfunction. Uh, amitriptyline is also used in the treatment of noctular aneurysis, bedwetting in the children. So look at the uses, and it's the oldest drug, one of the old drugs. Uh, amitriptyline may be prescribed for other conditions such as cyclic cyclic vomiting syndrome, post-traumatic stress disorder, chronic pain, tinnitus, chronic cough, carpal tunnel syndrome, uh, fibromyalgia, volodynia, interstitial cystitis, male chronic pelvic pain syndrome, irritable bowel syndrome, uh, diabetic peripheral neuropathy, neurological pain, laryngeal sensory neuropathy, chronic fatigue syndrome and painful parasthesias related to multiple sclerosis. So these are multiple uses of this. Okay. The main two side effects of the drug occur from taking amitriptyline from drowsiness and dry mouth. Other common side effects of using um, amitriptyline are mostly due to its anticholinergic activity including weight gain, changes in the appetite, um, muscle stiffness, nausea, constipation, nervousness, dizziness, tremor, blood vision, urinary retention and changes in sexual function. Some rare side effects include seizures, tinnitus, hypotension, mania, psychosis, sleep, paralysis, uh, hypnagogic or hypnopompic hallucinations related to sleep, paralysis, heart block, dysarrhythmia, arrhythmias, lip and mouth ulcers, extrapyramidal symptoms, depression, tingling pain or numbness in the feet or hands, yellowing of the skin, eyes, pain or difficulty passing urine, confusion, abnormal production of milk in the females, breast enlargement in both the males and the females, uh, fever with increased sweating and suicidal thoughts. Okay, these side effects are due to the alpha blockade and the muscarinic effect of uh, these uh, tricyclic uh, antidepressant. Okay, the um, amitriptyline acts primarily as a serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor with uh, strong action on the serotonin transporter, moderate effects on the norepinephrine transporter. It is it has a negligible uh, influence on the dopamine transporter and therefore does not affect dopamine reuptake. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Take care.